Hello my planner family and welcome back to another plan with me video and those who just joined us today hello and welcome to our channel the pink room co I usually post videos every Friday mostly planner related let's let's face it it's all planner related seeing that yesterday was the first day of fall I've decided to use my summer story kit for this week as a farewell to summer and that there were many stories and fun that we had as a family. So goodbye summer, hello fall. As you can see here, this is my September monthly spread. So we'll be planning the week of September 18th to the 24th. I usually like to look at the week in my monthly spread just to know what's going on or what I have to do before I start doing the whole week. This plan with me video, I'll be planning for the week of September 19th to September 25th. Let's get started. I forgot to mention that this is going to be a white space spread. I am going to do my to-do list first. Usually I do my ombre heart check boxes, but as I said, it's a white space spread, so I'm just gonna do my headers first. The reason I do my headers first is that I want my signature bow heart check flags to sit on top of the headers, because if I do my check flags first then my headers will be sitting on top of the bows which won't look that nice. Once that's done I'm going to work on my sidebar. Excuse my head because it's really hard for me to see where I position this and I'm just going to build my sidebar with my heart check boxes, my scallop boxes, a reminder and a daily habit. Next, I am going to work on my bottom washi. As you can see here, that's my bottom washi. is a little bit different from your other washi's is that I do like to extend my design out into a cutout more than just a regular rectangle. I like having my washi or my design cutouts like that because it gives the spread a little bit more whimsical feel to it. And it's just different from your other planner stickers out there. So here I thought I will do the other side, but then I realized the weekend section, I don't know what will be in there, so I just left that side until I finally decide what I'm gonna put in that section. So my next step is to work on my full boxes. So for the bottom weekend section, I've decided to use one of the side as a uh, things to do for next week because I do find that really helpful and handy to refer back on. And once I have that down, I've decided to put the bottom washi down. And now it's time for the washi dance. With this spread, I do want to add some glitter and some gold. So I got this really fine glitter washi tape and decided to use this gold foil letter quote washi on top. Um, I think this gold glitter washi tape I got from the dollar store. And because it's the same width as the one that I'll be using to layer on top, I do need two pieces just to make it a little bit thicker because I want the glitter washi as a border. However, me doing that way was a bit hard to see, so I decided to peel it off and do it on the table, measure it, and then place it back on. And I'll be doing the same thing to the other side. Next, I'm gonna cover the top header with a dusty red glitter washi tape. Here I was thinking that maybe I should add a little bit more to the top header, cause I, you know me, I like to layer my washi tape and I just don't like it to be just a single solid. However, I talked myself out of it because the kit itself is already very floral and it's starting to get a little bit busy so I don't want to overwhelm this this week's spread with extra layering of gold foil washi tape on top. 
As you can see, I placed a flower decoy there because I cut the washi a bit too short, so it was showing and it's gonna bother me, so I decided just to put a sticker on top of it. So for Monday, I'll be fulfilling the October Mystery Kit packaging and shipping them out. It's also grocery day, so I decided to use my yellow food basket instead of my paper bag. You just saw me <laughs> pulling out my monthly spread just to see what else is going on that week. So it is recycling, just to remind me because I wasn't sure if it was recycling or garbage. And on Tuesday is another day of fulfillment and packaging and mailing out. I hope that it's my last day to do that for all the October mystery kits. And it's also my day to change my bed sheets every two weeks. I do indicate that in my monthly spread. Wednesday's going to be my I can't speak. Wednesday's going to be my creative day. I'm just gonna put a half box there with a once more I love sticker on top of it. And also Wednesday is my husband hockey day too. Same with Thursday. It's gonna be my creative day because it's been a while since I've done any new kits, so I'll be creating some new kits on those days. And Friday is my little girl's picture day at her preschool. I'm going to indicate that with a little girl from Craftina's sticker shop and a camera sticker that I think was left over from Mia Bella kit that I used. And I realized that I do have a parent slash teacher workshop on Thursday that I have to attend that night. So I'm going to place down my weekend banner. Saturday is my date night with my husband. I'm going to indicate that with a quarter box and a custom sticker from Sty & Co. Because I know my Friday is going to be pretty busy, I've decided to move my plan with me or film my plan with me video on Sunday when the children are asleep. Now my 20 month baby boy do sleep through the night. Well, yeah, he sleeps through the night. So I have time to do my plan with me videos then. So with Friday, I'll be editing and uploading this plan with me video and I cannot forget to post some pictures on Instagram and also to fulfill some orders and mail out some Etsy orders. And on Saturday, I bought some stuff online. It's like a estate auction that I won and I won, I won, what was it? I guess you could say it's a buffet hutch or a shelf for $3. I bought it for $3. So um, it's literally a garage sale online type of thing that you bid on and if nobody bids it, you get it for like even for a dollar. So I got this for three bucks, which is a total score. Okay, back to planning, sorry. So now I'm just gonna decorate the spread before I put down my ink. As you can see here, I'm using my Sharpie retractable Sharpie pen to right on top of my stickers because this kit is printed on glossy. Most of my new kits and going for it, as I said, all my new kits will be in glossy. So the only thing that will work on it is uh, any Sharpie pens. To celebrate the first day of fall, I have to have my pumpkin spice latte. Sometimes when I fill out my weekly planner, I forget some things uh, too, so I just add it in. After looking at my sidebar, I felt that it was kind of incomplete and I wanted to fill that empty space with a sticker, so I got this recollection sticker from Michaels and I think that this chipboard sticker works well with the spread. And there we go, this week is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me video. As you can see here, I'm just tidying up and taking pictures from my Instagram. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And those of you guys who just joined and enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe because I do try to post videos up every Friday. Thank you guys again and have a happy weekend and happy planning. Bye.